Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are going to take a look at a pretty new little game called Turmoil. It has just left early access and I think it is an excellent example of a new developer studio um, properly scoping their game to not be completely ridiculous like for example hmm, automation um, and they uh, I think succeeded in what they set out to do. It is a game very much in the retro style of uh, like early DOS or late Amiga 2600 games and has that simplistic quality to it which is kind of addictive but um, after quite a lot of gameplay a little shallow maybe. But I think they did a really nice job with this one and we are going to see how they uh, invoke this retro feel of it. The game has sold about 70,000 copies so far and has a uh, pretty high rating of around 90% on Steam and um, let's see what's behind that. So let's start a new game and a new campaign and the start of the game is pretty simple. You have very few features available at that point. Uh, there is a hard mode campaign or expert mode campaign and that is significantly harder uh, and if you are somewhat familiar with like oil drilling games um, there are not that many out, of them, uh, out there I think but uh, if you know a little bit about the concept then I think you will be right at home because this is pretty simple and the game nicely leads into it so if we just go in here the tutorial is starting and we'll see what this is all about so what we are going to do is dig for our first oil and we have a dowser here which we no oh, why is the hotkey not working on okay like this um, we um, put them down and he is going to find us our first patch of oil or pocket of oil I should say because we are digging down so overall this is a 2d game as you can see and it has um, all rigs you can place down, you need to find pockets and those are going downwards, they are down here in the earth and the screen over time moves up so that more earth becomes visible. So he's now pointing out that I should dig to this location. Every oil rig has a uh, pipe connector here and we can tell it where to drill and the further you drill the more it costs but as you can see it is not exactly linear the further you go the more it costs but it's not like you see this little bit is 200 but this large bit is just 800 and that's not four times as much um, so let's drill there and see what we find and you can see it is all in this kind of polygon rough polygon style and there we have struck oil and now someone is coming to tell us that we need to actually not spill this everywhere but um, have something to carry it away and that would be horses with oil canisters on the back and they can right up load them up and sell the oil over there and we can of course have more of them And we're done once it hits 1,300 bucks again. So that should be pretty soon. The price is stable here right now. And that is one of the major gameplay mechanics in this game. There are in normal gameplay two uh, places to sell the oil. Both are pretty simple in their modeling. And that is that the price fluctuates according to a base value plus one large sign or slower sinus wave and one with a different uh, offset and probably a little bit sl smaller amplitude and higher frequency and that leads to price fluctuations which are somewhat predictable and if you have an uh, if you keep an eye out of them then you, you know what's coming up so now we made our first little profits or not really and we can uh, start moving into the game as you can see there is something building here 
and this town over time will fill up with buildings and more options for you to use in your um, oil conquest. So, oh yes, this is the first uh, gameplay mechanic that is introduced. We have to see if we can find oil here on the world map and uh, we are trying to grab the best patches for a land lease. And these are my competitors, free competitors, and you never really see them, but they do take their own patch of land and try to extract all the oil out of it too. So you have a little bit of uh, competition going on and you wonder why is there competition? I mean, if it's your patch of land and you just extract all the oil of it from it, then uh, where's the competition? Well. The end goal of the game is to become the new mayor of the town. And for that, the mayor uh, sells lots of shares. So he can, he can have a, a very nice pension at the end, I guess. Um, or buy some lonely island. And you need the money from your oil revenue in order to buy shares. So it is a little bit of a contest between these guys here who all want to become the mayor and uh, control the area. So yes, uh, right now he just set us down on a new patch of land. And we have the bank here. So we could take out a loan, but we really don't need to right now. Um, there's no need for it right now. Exactly, but Fred, as soon as he is done, you will have some new tech for us to unlock and that is pretty important. So there is a, a progression system within the game which helps you to um, establish your, your hold on a region quicker or just dig deeper or uh, get around obstacles better or just be more efficient overall. So every time you go to a new area it costs you 2000 so you need to make sure that you have 2000 at least. Um, and now we shall dig. So we place down two dozers. Let's start with that. And two horsies. And then we see what happens. Right now we only have this left hand um, sales person going on. So this is Left Inc. And they currently have an oil price of uh, 62 cent per barrel. Doesn't sound like much, but so I place my first rig and yeah, 62 isn't much. Um, so I'm digging straight down. I don't want to make these too long. Oh, there's supposed to be a pretty nice patch there already. So yes, uh, he is correct about what he's saying there. At 62, you really don't want to sell. So what we are going to do is build a silo. And now we could assign, yep, tutorial, I thought I skipped you. Um, what now? Yes, okay, 31st of March. So this is a uh, short game and the time didn't progress yet. Later on, uh, the land lease will be um, exactly one year. In the early days, it isn't. So what we are going to do is now just try to extract as much oil as possible. We could go on here and try to get a loan, uh, borrow 500 bucks, and I think you can borrow multiple, but the interest rate per month is 10%, so, and right now we don't really need it. This one probably will strike oil pretty soon. Yes, there it is. And now we have double extraction going on. And the price is rising quickly, so what we do is send our horses over there and they should be ready to sell at a much better rate now. And with that we will grab and buy new horses to transport this stuff and just escalate a little bit and um, sell this oil quicker because now the price is really good. Come on. Sell a little bit more. There we go. Now the price is declining quickly and we shall shut them down uh, because before the 31st of March there will be probably be another um, 
coming off the price of the high prices. So I think this is the last we are going to sell here and then cut it down like this. All right. So the oil pumps always continue pumping and there is a buffer here. And if this buffer is full, then the oil starts spilling. And that incurs quite a lot of costs for you. Uh, oil spillage fines are pretty immense in this game. So um, it is best to have a, a enough wagons to store your oil and enough silos to store your oil or be quick enough to sell it. Um, and what you also can do is later on, once you have an upgrade, that you have more branches from each rig. We can also continue digging here into all directions. And this could connect to another oil field somewhere else. So once this one runs out, we could just go uh, and continue digging, just buy another dowser. We could do that and see if he finds more oil. Ah, the price is starting to go up again and our silo, silo is filling up. So let's start selling again. Let's see if they actually manage the silo trade for. Yeah, there he has found more oil. So um, we could have established yet another one, but that is not really recommended, I would guess, for... Uh, such a short length game and now we just have to sell it and really awkward price to but at least we are not making any losses here we um, went in with 2,000 and we are coming out with oh, definitely more than 2,000 probably more like 3,000 3,500 so a little profit and that we can use in, to buy upgrades can also speed up the game after a while. The button isn't available right now, but uh, as soon as the tutorial is through. Oh, yep, nice. Here you can see the fold. Wow, there was, was a lot of oil in here. That was crazy much. Also, you see there's a new pocket coming down there, and that would have been revealed first later once the, the whole terrain is actually moving upwards. So, um, pretty nice and simple so far. Right, we had that many earnings, that many spendings, and we turned a profit of 3,300. Not too bad, not too bad. So, yeah, that's more than most of them. So, didn't do too badly. All right, so he is um, the mining expert in this one, on the drilling expert, and we can buy some upgrades here. And one of the upgrades, which is one of the first upgrades, which is really important, is the width. Because if you have a huge patch of oil, then um, your single little pipe won't really be doing much to empty it. And especially not with the short game, uh, game length at first. So what we're going to do here is to quickly just buy Let's see, we still have to have enough money to buy a piece of land. Um, as we don't really know where to look right now, this should still be pretty cheap, but let me first get to the piece of land. So land auction. Yay, first land auction. So instead of now getting a piece of land for free, we have to start bidding for a piece of land. And these numbers you see here, uh, how much oil w w there was discovered in um, in these patches of land and they are reasonably consistent with how they progress so you you will not it's not completely random but rather there are uh, regions complete regions which have more oil and less oil and you can see here at 52 52 49 33 so it's quickly declining to the north and this seems to have been a, a, a rich part of the map so now the question is where is another rich part of the map and considering that this is a 33 i think i will be going for somewhere hmm, i'm supposed to choose first 
52 there. We want to have a little bit of distance there, so... Hmm. Well, let's try this one. And they are all trying to get into the existing action. I can understand that, but that quickly can turn into something pretty expensive. Especially if there's just well-known places left where there's a lot of oil. So we haven't paid that much. That means that we can buy another upgrade. So um, what I definitely like is the silo size upgrades. Let's go with that one. And until this dude is finished, um, he has... He provides better methods of finding oil, while he provides uh, better methods of drilling for oil and just infrastructure in general. All right, let's get into the next map. Yes, 2,000 it costs, and now we shall... Ah. Yes, longer game, and there is another sales place coming up. That's great, because then we have more to choose. Oh, let's place another one down and buy two horses and get ready with the first rig. Optimized build order here. It's like a hardcore strategy game. Ah, not really. Um, yeah, so let's see who finds oil first. Come on, guys. Quicker. Yes, over there. And you... It's a bit far off to the side. I prefer something in the middle. Yes. That's better. All right, so let's drill down a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if we... Yes, okay. We struck it with the first one. And this looks like a pretty big pocket. So we are going to get this one over there. And because we have struck oil early and have pretty good prices coming up here, we just try to find the next one too, so that we have a pretty good start. We don't have much time either, so we really need to hurry up here. This also looks like a decent sized pocket. Um, hmm. We could do like this too. And that enhances the size of the pipe now, because I bought the upgrade, I can do that. Uh, a bit bad timing here for the good price being there, but um, then again... Well, why are they not selling? Because I'm stupid. Um, now the single one is coming back to try to, to grab some oil before it overflows. And what I hope we can do... ...is to um, use this left ink for selling oil. And once that one has stopped, we start selling to right ink, which after a while should have come up quite a bit in comparison to this, while this one is dropping. And now we run into the problem of not having enough uh, capacity, or at least very soon. So I'm going to play silos, and I bought the potential upgrade to it as well. And now we have two big silos. And this guy over there wants to have someone digging. So let's go and do that too. Oh, it's a very close to uh, the surface pocket as well. It's nice and easy. We are selling at stupid bad prices. And now the price on the right is increasing while we are filling up our silos. And we do have quite a bit of time left, but... I still want to increase our general flow of oil here so that we make sure to empty those because I don't really know how far this one extends. This could be a huge one. Well, this one you can see the oil levels drop pretty quickly and these have already disappeared here. So uh, this would point me to believing that this is pretty small. This one also was reasonably small. So now we start selling here and hope nothing spills. I am ready to uh, take any potential spillage here and place down new carts like this. And wait until those return so that they can take the rest before it's going to the top. Yes, very good. 
But you gotta watch out a little bit. Because those oil filling spines, uh, fines are pretty ridiculous. And you need even more horses. You can have up to 15. Oh, now we should sell at the other, <laughs> other side. Because this one is soon going down again. And I hope we're not going to spill. Because these are very slow. They have not had any upgrades. Oh, this will be really close. So they are going to the top and then a timer appears for um, the pressure. And now they have pumped enough uh, oil into their tanks to um, to relieve the pressure valve there. And uh, it's all going good again. And this price is excellent. Just look at how much revenue we have. That's just looking good. Was a good choice to, ooh, or was it, uh, to um, go with big pipes on all three. And now you see this one has turned a little grayish. Uh, that means there's no oil left in that one. And so no more troubles there. It's completely empty. We could use it to, for example, drill over here and have this one empty that one. That will work. And um, yeah, you could do so with uh, you just hiring a new dozer and seeing what else there is. Maybe he finds something right beneath here. And if he does, then we can use the existing infrastructure to just drill for more oil. As you can see, it's a really simple game, but in its simplicity, it is very appealing. And let's see, we have another month to go. So let's see if we can get a better price here, but both of them are dropping. Uh, I don't like that. So maybe we just should sell, but this one is dropping slowly. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this will the last few scraps. Ah, okay, over there doesn't really help. We could extend this one over. Well, we can't from there, but from there we could extend a pipe over there, but that's 400, and in this time we certainly won't make that back. And now I'm thinking that maybe this was a stupid idea to not continue selling, because these prices are not looking like they are going up again. So, um, yeah, let's just go with that. Let's sell. Let's sell what we have. It was a mistake, um, but you never really know. Sometimes it's uh, it's a very short wave, uh, or high frequency sinus, which then turns up again really quickly. And, oh, don't spill now. That would be bad. Okay, deactivated the timer. Very nice. Well, let's see if we can sell almost all the oil. Switch over there. Go over and sell quickly. Just a few more days left. Those horses are damn slow. I mean, they take like four days from the silo to uh, to one of the. the places to sell even though it's just like 50 meters um right so let's see whoa what, what is coming up there no oh, okay it's a small pocket but yes you see these were just three medium-sized pockets and there was a lot more to grab if we had the technology to find them and this is what we are going to work on now so now we grabbed a nice profit which we can let's see compared to the, yes we are completely crushing them like I said, it's a really easy game the first uh, in the first difficulty mode. At least I found it very easy, and it's not really becoming harder if you um, if you are going heavy on the on the technology first, and then just acquire lots of funds and invest in buying town shares. So basically, we're spending every uh, every cent of our money on technology now. Let's see what what does he have? So we could go as a different technique for finding oil, and that is moles and scanners. Scanners are super uh, efficient, but really, really expensive. So if you are on an oil-rich uh, map and you want to, uh, you have a good start, and you want to quickly scout out the whole map, basically, like all the terrain beneath you, then you could do. Uh, a scan for like two scans of like, three thousand um, dollars and basically see the whole thing and then plan from there 
The mole is a little bit different. It takes a little bit longer. Um, it reveals individual uh, polygons or triangles in this case because as you can see down here the whole ground is made up of triangles. So depth 2 is for the dowsers to find um, oil pockets that are slightly deeper in the mid region of the, the field which we definitely want. Uh, speed increases the dowser speed overall and and find all faster so maybe we go for depth 2 and speed 2 and moles will become um, pretty important later especially once there are diamonds to find as well but let's see we um, buy the depth upgrade and we buy the speed upgrade and then we have plenty of cash left for our buying of Oh, yeah, you can see the upgrades here. Uh, for our buying of land. And they haven't bought anything yet. That is probably why they suck so much. So, quick updating, or quick uh, updating of technology, I mean, uh, right at the start of the game really helps out, I think, at least. And then you just uh, power through with your tech. So, land auction. What do you have now? Hmm. So... What they chose was the 29, the 39, 36 here, and we actually did better. So let's see what they want to do now. Are we starting again? Hmm. Right, so this isn't too good over there. Uh, the high value's up to like 60, uh, 65 even. And this is the 29, so it seems to really fall down there. But what we could try is um, to see if it's much better over here. They are going for something reasonably safe, it looks, and we are risking it over there. So, let's see how much there is to, uh, to pump. Now we need our 2,000 bucks again to get started, and let's go with our improved dowsers. So, let's buy three, and... Two weapon, uh, two weapons, no, not weapons, wagons. And then we have 1,400 left to place one oil rig, rig and do the piping of the first, um, for the first oil patch. That's a nice middle-ish one, and we can grab that one too from here. Let's see if we strike oil right away. Come on. Uh, no, we didn't. So we have to continue digging here. Also, those are not 100% accurate. Oh, shit. Okay, this doesn't look too good. Come on. Where is the oil? There it is. Okay. <laughs> that took a while. Uh, and we're going to sell it over there. And now I want to go... Ah, okay, we can't, of course, branch over there from here. That is an important upgrade we have to get next. So we are building a new one here and see where we find oil. I hope I didn't dig too far now. But those dowsers definitely have improved range. Nope. Okay, they are discovering something which is pretty... Far down. Oh, no, I'm digging completely the wrong direction. So, let's dig in there. And there we struck oil. I don't know how large this one is. It looks pretty beefy just from this uh, straight line we're seeing here. Could buy another one of these. That will help in transportation. Let's load it up get some more cash because we definitely want a third platform uh, later on as soon as you have bought some upgrades for the branch limits uh, it's much simpler to just use one platform and uh, just one oil rig and from there just be the spider which gets all stretches out all its legs to get to the all the oil patches on the map uh, let's place down this rig over here and see if we can struck a little bit of oil over there too. This game also ends in June 30th. Alright, it's not too much time. Oh, lucky one. 
we got it right away. And let's buy two more dowsers to see if they find something in the medium layer. We are selling to the wrong person. Bad, bad. Okay, make more money. So if there is no more oil to find for them... Oh, he says there's more oil. So let's continue digging. And he says it's right beneath. Oh, that's a tiny patch. So where is the oil he's speaking of? There it is. That looks like a pretty big one. So what we're going to do here is to upgrade those. And then buy loads of horses. And all sell this stuff now for... Oh, he also finds something down here. Which is bad because we already zigzagged. Um, Alright, now we're pumping a lot of oil. So let's get moving with 15 horses. And as soon as this one is empty... Ah, yeah, that's a pretty neat system. So you can see uh, this pipe, the first pipe here from this rig, is the bottleneck for the pumping action. And it spreads the pressure equally. So it takes half from down here and half from there, and this fills the whole pipe. So once this one is empty, all will be coming, like one hole uh, will be coming from down here. And let's upgrade this one too, because we don't know how large that is. Probably pretty big too. And each segment updates separately. Which I think is a pretty good choice overall, because otherwise uh, it would take ages and it is um, a bit like offsetting the um, difficulty you have from... Uh, like, th this short bit is costing you much more than this whole... or these three pieces individually added together um, cost you more than a single piece down there. But the single piece would be much harder to upgrade and less versatile in... Whoop, we have to change over. I'm talking too much and thinking too little. Um, we have to switch over there. This is pumping nicely. So, yeah, that is a bit of a risk-reward mechanic there. Um, if you just want to get there quickly, a straight line is much better, of course. Maybe we don't even need silos. So now... You see, the first reservoir here is... The first pocket is empty. It indeed was a really small one. And this one down here doesn't even seem to want to go down in size. Uh, we don't see the levels dropping yet. Now let me see if I... Oh, I can't go down there. It's May 20th. I don't think we have enough time to get anything else done here. It's just one month. It's not really worth it. So let's save that money and instead turn that into a pure profit. So right now we are doing pretty well. 9,300. Oh, pocket empty. Yep. And it will be interesting to see how large these pockets actually were. This one definitely is large. As you can see, now it starts dropping here. Now we're in the last month. Selling for ridiculously low prices. And our 15 horses uh, were able to carry so much capacity that uh, we didn't need any silos this time. Which, of course, again, saves money and is more efficient if you can do that because. Um, then you don't have to go twice, like once to the silo and then to sell it, but rather directly just from rig to the place you sell it. That is, of course, only really possible if you are willing to sell at low prices, like I did in the meantime. Uh, we did go down to like 70 and 60, but yeah, with so little time on the clock, that is probably the best option here because we have no time to spare to waste any oh I actually emptied this one perfect so this was a huge pocket or oh, not huge but large pocket and there were a few more coming down there and 14,500 or 14,600 in profit 
Yep, we are outclassing our competitors once again, and you can see there are more buildings uh, being done. Now he, with uh, the horsey guy, Rainer, uh, also has something to sell to you. And that is some uh, very good upgrade here. The size upgrade allows you to upgrade all of your carts for $750 uh, to a like double size, so they can carry twice as much oil. At least I think it's twice as much. Might be wrong with that, but it's significantly more. So uh, that might be something to go for. Uh, but first, we are checking out what the town hall has to offer and the pieces of land. And our choice wasn't the best one, as you can see. 32 we had. So 40 and 32. Now everyone is going over there. And I'm not so sure about this. Is it actually reaching up to this side? Or... No, I don't know. Maybe it's going rich over here again. But that's a little bit risky to do, to find out that way. So let's go for this extreme and see what's coming out of that. Alright, 18,000 to spend on upgrades. And we could have a wit upgrade to wit free. <laughs> Definitely not recommended with uh, without horse upgrades because that is a lot of oil flow which you probably can't really stem. But we are going for this super important branch update so that we can have two connections. Oh, no, three even. Three to each joint. Very good. So two more. All right, let's go with this one. So what I did wrong twice now, which is an interesting observation about clarity of UI, is that instead of pressing the little X here, I pressed on the leave town button up here because it looked like the um, go back button from this menu. And that of course leads to the main menu. There's no, no progress lost or anything, but uh, apart from buying the patch and whatever you did in town. So, uh, but that is something that might not be too smart to do. So maybe the developer should have considered to instead of having this button so close to the leave, be a much bigger prominent back button of the leave town, to place this bubble, the speech bubble, further to the left so that it clearly stands out as um, not belonging to this big button over there. All right, but now I have uh, bought what I wanted to buy. Someone else wanted to have this patch of land, so I had to pay 2,000 instead of 1,000. But otherwise, everything is the same. So let's go digging. All right, standard procedure, three dowsers and two wagons, and then we are ready to dig. Let's see if they find something close together. Those two guys over here. And then we could use just one, yeah? You found something. Yes, we can have two joints now. And yeah, that would be perfect over there. So now what we can do is have our second pipe go over there. And there's the first pocket. And we want to sell over here. This is a big one. Very good. And this one we won't reach without uh, another one. At least it's like if we wanted to draw over here, you can see that's 700, so it's much cheaper to actually buy a new rig. But this one is worth it, so let's dig down a little bit. Yeah, didn't find the oil there yet. How deep does that go? There it is. It's a bit on the side here. Cool. Found it. And now he should disappear because we found it. Yes. Now this price is rising. And we have enough money to buy two new horses. Buying a new oil rig here, that means that I have to wait a little bit before I can buy some piping too. That should be good. It 
just to make sure that we are not leaving anything um, left out here which is close to the surface which we could get with our upgrade so far I'm um, trying to dig over here too still have a little bit of time because this digging here is not upsetting the current extraction of this oil patch there and we're just continually selling the oil because we in with this time limit we're not going to be able to um, get all the oil out anyway so we can equally well sell it at low prices Wow, that all is deep. Ah, you can just about see this little thing there. It's right there. Okay, not too bad. So we found this one. And the others, the other dowsers, are not having much luck. So this seems to be a pretty sparse place. Uh, let's upgrade a little bit because this one seems low. And poof, those prices are terrible. Let's hope they rise significantly before uh, the end of the game here, or the end of the land lease. Now that we're extracting so much, those silos would be filling up pretty quickly. Alright, I think we have to start selling now, because otherwise the game will end before we uh, are able to even get rid of the silo contents. That would be a shame. Just to speed it up, we uh, buy a few more horses again. This price over here is rising much quicker than this one. So once they are mostly empty, I'm going to switch over. Okay, the first ones are leaving the rig. So now I can switch over here and let them sell there. Give me all your money. Whoa, this is not good. We don't want any spillage finds, so I placed two horses down there just to reset the timer. And the prices are nice and high, so we can just start selling with 15, because those silos won't empty themselves. neat. So we already emptied the side pocket here and that should have brought us a significantly uh, positive boost to our profits. Uh, it was a small pocket but if you count how much we spent on piping that's still still okay. And this pocket is getting really empty too. Now we only have 10 days left. Prices are falling. We don't really care. Just sell everything you got. Alright, let's check out the level. Oh, this pocket was reasonably large. This too, and this was a big one. And which we continuously pumped with our largest size drill, so um, not too bad. Uh, 15,800 in profits. Looking pretty good. This here is what I meant when I was saying that uh, we have sinusoidals for uh, the two inks, left and right inks, which buy your oil for the price. And as you can see, it's just two sine waves uh, overlaid. Each of them are two sine waves overlaid. So, and this is the right price and this is the left price. And they are phase shifted and am have different amplitudes uh, before they are combined. And you can see this nice and simple motion, uh, wavy motion, and that is a pretty good way of modeling your, your prices if you want to have some not complete random randomness, but um, a little bit of it. So the observant player would be seeing what's happening and can make predictions accordingly, while someone who um, who doesn't notice the patterns definitely will sh fall short 
MFS sales and plannings. So it's a nice, very simple to implement mechanic, uh, which I think is a good choice for a game like this. And with so much profits earned, I think this is a good time to end this first episode. And in the next episode, we are going to talk about some of the more advanced features in the game and, well, techniques, more or less, and how the game progresses, how it uh, does its progression, but also a um, little design question of uh, aesthetics versus gameplay. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.